This is a presentation covering perfect active participles as seen in stage 22 of the Cambridge Latin course. In this presentation, you will learn how to identify a perfect active participle from the vocabulary checklist, and you should be able to tell the difference between a perfect active participle and a perfect passive participle. So quickly, to review, what are participles? Remember that a participle is an adjective that is made from a verb. If you consider verbs of cooking, they make really nice examples in English of how these past participles work. For example, to saute something is to lightly fry it. I like sauteed onions on my hamburger. The words in bold indicate the connection of the verb in the first sentence to the adjective in the second sentence. You can see it's an adjective from the two underlined components. Consider this example. Please mash these potatoes. We can have mashed potatoes with our meal. These are both past participles in English. Now to review from stage 21, the perfect passive participle is the fourth principal part of your verb. So for the verb to pour in Latin, fundo, fundere, fudi, fusus, fusus is the fourth principal part of the verb and therefore the perfect passive participle. The basic translation for this participle is having been verbed. So specifically to fundo, it would be having been poured. For your perfect active participles in stage 22 now, you will recognize them from your vocabulary checklist because they are presented to you in the form of us, a, um adjectives. For example, adeptus, adepta, adeptum, us, a, um, having obtained. Ingressus, ingressa, ingressum, having entered. Precatus, precata, precatum, having prayed to. And in recognizing the us a um form as an adjective, you will remember that these adjectives are specifically participles, perfect active participles. For now, you must memorize these as perfect active participles. And everything will become clear in stage 32, omnes credite mihi. Now, when you look at the PAP and the PPP together, you might become a bit confused and wonder how to tell them apart. Again, from the stage 22 vocabulary checklist, consider this form ingressus, ingressa, ingressum. Then consider the verb fundo, fundere, fudi, fusus. When you contrast the glossary entries, you can clearly see that one of them is an adjective and one of them is a verb. But which is which? Ingressus, ingressa, ingressum is the adjective and therefore is the perfect active participle. Fundo, fundere, fudi, fusus with its four principal parts is clearly a verb. And so fusus is the perfect passive participle. There is a degree of memorization that must be done in order to master this particular skill. So let's practice now. I'm going to show you a series of participles. You need to identify whether they are perfect active or perfect passive. The participles are electus, adepta, monetus, precatum, ingressus, and fusus. Pause the recording here and work these examples out. When you are ready for the answers, restart the recording. Let's see how you did on identifying these participles. Electus is a perfect passive participle from the verb elegere, and this one will translate as having been chosen. Adepta is a perfect active participle, having obtained. It's given to you in the list as adeptus, adepta, adeptum, an adjective. Monitus is the perfect passive participle from the verb moneo, monera, Monui monitus, having been warned. Precatum is the perfect active participle. 
on your stage 22 vocabulary checklist. It's given to you as precatus, precata, precatum, simply as an adjective. Therefore, a perfect active participle. Ingressus, just as precatum, it's listed as an adjective. It's a perfect active participle. And lastly, fusus is a perfect passive participle from the verb fundo, fundere, fudi, fusus. Continue to practice these, memorize your vocab words, and good luck.